Here he is, here he is, here he is. Yeah. Okay, we're about Just to start. All right. Well, yeah. What is this? Is this a silence yet? Welcome to the Spring 2018 uh, Twin Queries. Um, Thank you all for being here tonight. This is going to be a fantastic, uh, a fantastic talk, a fantastic discussion. Thank you for uh, to Zemir and Marcello for, for volunteering. For accepting the to do this talk tonight on um, knowledge graphs. Um, they've done quite a bit of background work, work and, and, and um, I'll bear it to believe this discussion and truly will be a good discussion. A couple of logistics. We are, um, to the extent that our guys network stays up there, I don't know if any of you experienced the outage earlier today. That sucked. <laughs> but, um, we are small online. Um, and we are being recorded. So just to keep that in mind, you're welcome to ask questions. It's meant to be a discussion. Just keep that in mind. Um, um, and, and uh, other, other logistics. Um, um, normally, normally, I, I, I ask, ask at this time for you to sign, sign up for the for the, the, for the, the spring term. term. But we have our, our, um, our book, book solid So check, check out, out uh, the TWED, uh, the Twed schedule website to see the TWED, the talks, TWED Talks, uh, idea, uh, talks idea Talks, Divine TWED, and, Divine and, TWED and, and Idea Talks, and RPI, and RPI our users group, and our pirates, our users group schedule this term. for this term. And it's never, and it's never too early, too early to sign up for the lightning talk for another term. They have to know I'm going to start thinking about that. I'm so um, about that. So, um, Conscious of time, we want to leave as much time as we can. So, okay, okay, okay. 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 thank you, John. Uh, uh, for the presentation, my name is Marcelo. Thank you, everybody, for coming. My name is Marcelo Marcel Bax. Uh, I am a business scholar, scholar here at uh, CWC and, and so doing some research in the field of domestic technology in general. I have, I have done that in the 90s, but I'm pretty mature, guy. mature guy, so <laughs> that's it. So, so, so and, you? I'm, and I'm Sam Rashid. I'm a graduate student at TWC, uh, working under Dr. McGinnis. Um, doing some work doing related, some work related to semantic annotation. Um, and if it's done um, correctly, it results in knowledge graphs. Um, we'll talk about some knowledge graphs. Yeah, so, yeah, so all right. Was yeah, was actually, only one way to, to collect, collect all this material and present it. Uh, so, uh, be patient with us. Uh, but uh, the idea was that the, the term knowledge graph is, is widely used after uh, uh, Google has come up with uh, this concept, but there's no ground established, uh, well-defined uh, definition for the term. So we bring our conceptions here to the two, and uh, ideally we could come up with a kind of formal definition of a knowledge graph is. Um, but uh, this definition would uh, provide us with a, a ground for discussions within our research group. Great. So our talk is organized into six sections. Uh, we'll begin with a history related to knowledge graphs, um, and then go into a terminological analysis. Um, then we go into knowledge graph classification and categorization. More detail, um, on that. more detail on that when we get there. And then finally, um, and then finally we propose um, actually three um, definitions with three types of knowledge graphs. Um, and we can um, and we can also start with some of our contributions in this line of work. So, um, so we'll begin with a brief history. We'll begin with a brief history. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so the literature is back to the eight. The existential, the existential graphs, graphs were supposed to be the first, be the first work on logic, work on logic uh, indexed by, by Charles Sanders. The existential graphs are a kind of, diagram kind of diagrammatic way, way to describe logic. logic. And then, and then in the 60s, uh, uh, we, we have the experience of, of the math, math, math network, network mainly in the, in the of of linguistics, and then conceptual graphs in the 70s, done by John Sower 
as a kind of intermediate language to map natural language to database. Uh, and then we have the knowledge graph theory in the 80s uh, developed in Netherlands um, to try to understand language. What's interesting here is that all these approaches started to, uh, in, uh, to be worked on in order to understand language, how language works. And then up to, uh, it wasn't up to, it wasn't to uh, uh, 2012 that uh, this, the term knowledge graph, knowledge uh, uh, graph was used by Google. And then the term was widely, uh, uh, widely used. And uh, we had a family of many applications uh, that have been developed. So this slide is um, to highlight, to highlight knowledge Google's knowledge, 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 which they define in their own mind, um, site as um, a site as a graph created by Google to enhance their services. Enhance their services. Um, and um, they and they mentioned that they created, they created this knowledge using a variety of sources. Right. Uh, a recent lecture is is way this last year by Jamie Taylor. He, he, um, talked he, he talked about some of the, some of the ways that Google ways that Google's knowledge graph. He mentioned that it uses, he mentioned that it uses Freebase and DBpedia. So, um, we'll, so get that we'll get into that a little bit more. Um, but one thing, um, but one thing that we came across that we came across are some democratic, democratic, democratic epistemological and ethical concerns around, around Google, Google being this um, proprietor um, proprietor of knowledge. knowledge. Democratic, um, in the sense democratic in the sense that, that you can just go into Google and type up, type up a, question a question or a search or anything. Or anything. Um, they, they display some kind of, kind of knowledge graph to you that, that pretty much, pretty much answers, answers your queries. Your queries. So, there so there was a 2008 study that showed that uh, when, uh, when you search something in Google, the, the user, user is most likely to click one of the first 8 to 12 links. But then, um, this study, uh, which was the ethics of knowledge graph, of Google's knowledge graph, which came out in 2013, argues that now that Google has introduced their knowledge graph and uh, gives that result to you, you pretty much get all the information you need on that first page, and you're less likely to click, click in any of the links. So this, so this is, is a physiological concern because, because it, is so it is so easy for us to retrieve information that, that we don't have to go dig through all the sources. Um, so that might affect human intellect as a whole. Um, finally, some ethical concerns are around this idea of um, search engine bias. So does Google's page rank algorithm um, favor certain websites over other websites? And also, also are there there's links in Google's knowledge graph? So, for, so for example, example, if you guys, shop, um, if you guys, you guys search for Chuck Norris, you'll see, you'll see as a fact, fact that Chuck Norris is tears cure cancer. cancer. Um, but Chuck Norris is not a bad When we search for a, a full city's photos or different entities, um, Google, Google comes, comes up with this, this kind, kind of index cards that, that everybody knows. Uh, uh, but what I, I want to highlight, highlight here is that uh, we have, we have uh, uh, in, in this card what, what we call salient information. information. Salient, salient information, information are not, not only relevant information, but, but are the information, information that uh, help people to make the tasks that they, that they want, want to show. To. Let's see, I am, Let's try, I am trying to find a people. Find a people. Uh, his, uh, name his name is Hanganat, and then I know he's uh, Indian, and uh, he was born in this city here. Then I click, then I click in the city, I have, I have the, a new index card, card with different, different information, because it's not the entity. The person is the entity city. And then if I click in the photos here, I get another index card. 
I I could expose different 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 way to aid the auto. And actually, this card this card here allows me to make to make action and even try to book a hotel in in that in that city. And this this leads us to the concern that you said democratic because actually in all these clicks I didn't leave. Uh, the, uh, the, um, so the, next the next few slides, slides give some examples of the existing knowledge graph. If you, if you click, click on that, on that um, link, link, this actually, this actually leads, leads you to a blog post, post where they claim that, they claim that this is a knowledge graph for knowledge graphs, but in a few slides, few slides we'll show you what we consider a knowledge graph for knowledge graphs. So, so um, here's some here's some examples of knowledge, of knowledge graphs on the on the Left here, left here, you have um, the, the Microsoft, Microsoft LinkedIn, LinkedIn knowledge graph that published when Microsoft, Microsoft LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Um, um, it's a little hard it's to see, but you see there's, see there's um, um, no notes, label, 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 but notice there's no labels in any edges. Over here, you have, you have the free paste based on the knowledge graph example, which is one of the sources that, that uh, Google, uh, Google uses. uses. Other search, Other search engines, engines knowledge use knowledge graphs as well, like Yahoo yeah, 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 knowledge graph on the layer, kind of resemble RDF. Um, a wiki um, data, wiki data so is over here. So now, now you can see the you know, notes of the tree, but you but know that all that of those edges actually, actually represent, represent some kind of subclass relationship. relationship. Um, um, and then you have that you have Yago, Yago, um, yeah, on yeah, another yeah, great ontology, which is actually, which is actually a knowledge base. Um, um, there, there, there are some more. Some more. Um, um, this knowledge graph comes from, 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 um, so um, pretty much just taking your and then turn them into a podcast. Yes. So, so, how many, how many are you, are you, are you saying seconds or knowledge graphs? Um, um, are you saying seconds or knowledge graphs? I'd say, I'd say maybe, maybe <clears throat> most of the literature or websites we found, um, that we got these images from were claiming them to be knowledge graphs. Did they claim to be knowledge graphs? Um, I can't. I'm not sure. Yeah, actually, we, we didn't know. We, we, we but the, the the reason we are showing this is that we want uh, to have a definition that also embraces no uh, NLP work because there are actually many applications uh, from NLP field that uh, I, I don't, uh, the, the claims that they have knowledge graphs. Right, right. But, but I think Parker says someone knows what knowledge graph is. Sure. It's not just a man-man, it's a knowledge graph. It's just a way of Right. So, so, so this is a point. point. All, all on. On. I mean, we, we want to be clear about whether they claimed the knowledge graph and they claimed it against it. Yes. It's a definition. Right, right. I, 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 I didn't know the way that they claimed it. Yeah. yeah um, we're, we're, we're not certain either. We have to look further into this. Uh, the main point I wanted to show is that, is that um, there, there are graphical structures that, that may be considered knowledge graphs that do not, not necessarily have, have edge labels. Right, right. So, so um, um, but it's but still, still convinced. So, so um, um, this is, this is in, our, in our talk, we'll, we'll mention scientific knowledge, knowledge graphs. graphs. Pretty much what, what we're, we're referring to there are, are knowledge graphs that are generated from scientific data, data um, um, in such, such a way that, that has some, some semantic structure behind it. Yes, follow? follow? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry, to be better than we here. Well, well, so um, um, later, later in this talk, we'll provide definitions, definitions for three types of knowledge graphs. graphs. So, so um, and, and we call them, them strong, strong, weak, strong, strong general, general, and weak knowledge graphs. Um, so, so, so some of these NLP knowledge graphs. Whether, Whether they could be knowledge graphs or not, we consider them a form of knowledge graph because they convey. Point of order, because this, this, could, could, this could happen with every slide. slide. Why don't Why we agree, agree to, 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 to kind of, kind of these, these, these might be might knowledge, knowledge graphs. graphs. 
let's let's, let's withhold let's judgment. judgment. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's some interesting structures here. There's a pattern the match of those sensibilities. It may or may not, not be. Let's look, look at these, at these characteristics, and these guys, guys will kind of all of this to come together to propose some levels, levels of definition. Of okay, so this, this is kind of, kind of go right. through. So, so and finally, um, I mentioned, I mentioned the knowledge graph of knowledge graphs. So the LOD seems to be a knowledge graph of knowledge graphs, though Jim does not agree with me. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, just just this LED this LED cloud, cloud, um, um, pretty much pretty much has, has many different many different sources, including, including Wikipedia, Wikipedia, um, which, which might be a super easy here. here. Um, a bio 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 anyways, it uses a lot of um, different knowledge graphs. And no. a, Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, before you leave that, could you just go back one? <laughs> the, the LOD cloud has always been somewhat controversial because admittance into the LOD, LOD cloud has a certain, has a certain threshold that you have to cross. So again, this is according to their definition. The, the, these linkages are of LOD specific. Right. Yeah. So so this is they are the a part like everything else. It's a particular view of the universe. Okay. Which with certain characteristics, it might be interesting. Okay. All right. So I mean, this is open to the script, but we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah, once it gets up to the definitions. Yeah. Yeah, so, well, let's go a little bit quick. Initial slides and then the audience. So, going through some technological analysis, uh, we found, the, as everybody knows, a close relationship between taxonomies, ontologies, and knowledge graphs. And a way to tell them apart is say that taxonomy is, is uh, mainly for human consumption, for human use, to help humans uh, to navigate in a huge um, uh, corpus of texts. Uh, on the contrary, ontologies are supposed to be consumed by mostly by machines, because they are complicated. Uh, this is what uh, literature says on uh, and some sites. But uh, yeah, we need references. Uh, references. Yeah, yeah, it's Patrick. Yeah, yeah, I showed you this. Yeah, it's one view. And uh, Patrick Lamb says that um, knowledge graphs should be viewed as a kind of intermediate between ontologies and taxonomies. And I kind of I kind of agree with him because uh, we um, what we see what we is see that, is that um, um, uh, when, people uh, when people do tasks, do tasks they need some, they need some guidance, guidance, kind of pathway to concepts and content in order to realize the task they are trying to accomplish. And I think and I think that this is the main purpose of knowledge graphs, and that's why and that's why I see see a knowledge graph kind of skewed in this sense that it's more practical for helping for helping people to realize tasks that they want that they want they have to. And though we could have come back for this point, I have a simple slide to discuss this. But, but uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, idea this idea of silent, silent information, information comes from the presentation, presentation of, uh, of Patrick, Patrick Lamb that says, says that. So, for example, so for example uh, uh, this slide this is, slide is uh, uh, Kind of, kind of illustration of I'm being talking about. Let's say, uh, Let's say uh, I'm a physician and I, and I want, to want to describe a medication to, uh, to uh, appropriate to a diagnosis that we have in stock in the hospital and uh, to check contradict contraindications against the patient's medical history to be aware of any incidents involving the selected medication to advise the patient and also, and also, I want to advise the patient on how to manage daily life while on this medication. 
So if so I'm doing if I'm that, doing that I would I benefit, benefit from, from the kind of that that could retrieve that to me that based, that based on, on many different, different sources, sources all this, all this content, content that, that would help me to accomplish this. So, uh, so uh, uh, this, uh, this, this is, I guess, I guess for me at least, at least uh, the main, uh, the main group of models 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 And this could be generalized for many scientists, for example, trying to I come up with some hypotheses. I could, I could have helped many, many different, different sources, sources uh, uh, to, to come, come up with this test that is, is uh, uh, make a uh, 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 hypothesis. That's it. That's it. Right. So, um, so um, one, of the, one of the papers we came across um, in our literature towards the definition, definition for knowledge graphs of my own and loves. Presents a table that um, pretty much compiled several definitions of knowledge graphs that they themselves have found in the literature. Um, and it's a little hard to read here, but um, this first definition um, we viewed as like a set of minimum requirements, almost in the sense that they're saying a knowledge graph should describe real world entities. There should be some schema um, backing it, and there should be arbitrary connections, and maybe it should be cross-domain as well, um, covering a variety of different domains. So, so um, we don't agree with all these points. Um, specifically, um, there, there could be a domain-specific knowledge graph that's not a general knowledge graph, and we would still consider it a knowledge graph. Um, um, the, ne the next two definitions, definitions are a little bit vague. They're just saying that it's a large network of entities. Um, the third one says that they should be Derived or linked instances of documents and assets. We we think, think these definitions touch on some important ideas, ideas, but at the same, same time, time they're not formal enough. On the, on the other, other hand, hand, this fourth definition, fourth definition we believe is a bit too formal. Um, this, um, this fourth, fourth definition pretty much defines the knowledge graph as a hard DF graph. Yeah, and um, we um, give some restrictions. Yeah, then we even make the definition of RDF graph. No, you know, if you look at the more and more, you see the idea, but you have to have this specialization. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of useful. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. And we don't want to restrict our definition to RDF graphs either. There's a lot of good things RDF does, like identifiers, directed, labeled edges, that we would want to adopt in our definition. But there's a framework other than RDF that accomplishes this. Who's to say, say that they're not also a And, and continuing. Continue. Oh, oh, yeah. So, if you're. Uh, <coughs> so, the definition of CC is different. How you can update the amount of Do they all look the same? So, like, if you. Something needs to be updated, do they get from what it's going to remove it? That node, or like the extra node saying this is no longer relevant? This is a lot of the The updation, not many. Talk about it, but uh, in fact, there is fact that there is not even a synthesized definition of how to represent a knowledge graph. So, update is a right. Yeah, so, so they didn't discuss update as much as how was the knowledge graph constructed. So, was it constructed from a data set? Was it constructed through some information extraction system? Um, for example, this last definition says that they should have. Um, then extracted from it, um, <coughs> hinting that it was using some NLP technique to create this knowledge. But we disagree. We have there are other methods of creating knowledge graphs, which doesn't fall in the information extraction domain, namely semantic data diction. All right. So just keep knowledge. Do you get around around? Or the probabilistic where each each, uh, each 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 packet knowledge each has a problem, knowledge has a problem that right or wrong, right or wrong. And how they get the problem how they get the problem is a point to point of data. Point to point of data. He follows that definition. He follows that definition. So a lot of terms of a lot of terms of using probabilistic knowledge in recent in recent times. Including us. Including us. Going further on the same paper, paper, we see the definition of the authors themselves. That, and they say uh, that a knowledge graph is a, 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 graph is a kind of architecture. They say that explicitly. And that architecture acquires, integrates information into a knowledge and applies a reasoner to, this, to 
derive new knowledge. Well, this is the official definition that the authors gave. But uh, first of all, we uh, uh, do not agree with that definition, mostly because we think that uh, knowledge graph is not something that do things. People, People can, can do things, things machines can do things, but the knowledge graphs can't do things. In our field, they, they only, only are kind, kind of mathematical structure or any kind of structure, uh, but not act in, in external sources and trying to integrate that. Um, and, and actually, these same authors, they say that, that the literature confuses a lot the concept of knowledge, knowledge graph and the concept of knowledge base, but they, but they themselves call the knowledge, knowledge graph and knowledge base system. system. And, and I, think I think it's worse to call, uh, uh, sorry, for the, for the author by Campbell uh, I uh, 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 it's, it's, it's a little loss to call, call a knowledge graph, graph a knowledge based system and then to call a knowledge graph a knowledge base. And, and so, so uh, going, going further in this, uh, in this, in this paper, paper we, the, the, uh, the authors cite this, this blog post, blog post from the taxonomy over knowledge to knowledge, knowledge graph. And, and I, I that I understood that counting, we understood that counting on this title, they, they presume that, uh, uh, oh, okay. then maybe, maybe uh, uh, the knowledge graph is superior to the uh, ontology. An ontology. So, so what, what makes a knowledge graph superior to an ontology? And then, and then they, they um, uh, think, think that, that oh, if you integrate or you integrate a uh, uh, search engine in order, in order to have information, information from outside, and also to derive from knowledge, knowledge, it could be, it could be maybe that superiority that we are looking for. for. So, so because, because they say, they say well, it is a matter of, uh, if a uh, knowledge graph is superior, it's a matter of uh, extended feature or uh, Something else that I can't remember, but then a lot to say that it's a matter of extending features of a, of, of a, a knowledge base. So we can see that uh, from this, this previous discussion that it's pretty easy to confuse knowledge graphs with the systems platforms frameworks. Uh, and I think this is a good discussion because we think that these platforms that manage Great knowledge graphs are not knowledge graphs themselves, but uh, uh, we, we find in the literature many papers referring to this ontology based access uh, platform. And these platforms, um, in fact, manage uh, in some way helps creating knowledge graphs. So next we'll discuss knowledge graph characterization. So, so we, we pretty, pretty much surveyed the literature, literature and looked, looked for, for some features that we, that we saw in um, how, how characters describe graphs. And, and, and we, we decided, decided to organize them into some kind of, kind of points of like, um, um, hey, okay, maybe, maybe these are some weak arguments for why this might be considered a knowledge graph. Here's some general arguments and yeah. some, some strong, strong arguments. arguments. Uh, um, and, and so, so we formulated those in terms of requirements. So, so pretty, pretty much for a weak requirement for a knowledge graph, and this is to kind of include the NLP knowledge graphs we were showing um, to consider. Um, it's pretty much any graph that arguably con conveys information. Um, you can say that's a weak knowledge graph. Um, so there might be an unlimited set of concepts. Those concepts don't necessarily need to come from a fixed vocabulary or anything. It can just, it can be, just labels. be labels um, um, as well. As well um, um, we don't require, we don't require that edges must be labeled, as is, is the case in um, um, a lot of like formats. Um, kind of, um, kind extending of extending this a um, um, little further. Yeah, some, some general requirements, which kind, kind of goes with, with um, kind, kind of the linked, linked data, data way of constructing graphs, and then. Um, um, we require that, that statements, statements in a knowledge graph are unambiguous. RDF does this by using URIs, this by using URIs but any okay. unique identification scheme um, should, should be fine. We also require that a limited set of concepts 
be used, um, limited in the sense that those concepts should be defined in some vocabulary or ontology. Uh, um, but then it's also unlimited in the sense that if you want to use another concept, you can just define it. Um, and, then, and then the final general, the general requirement is that it integrates data from several sources. sources. So um, um, I'm not sure, not sure about, about the concepts. concepts. Generally, Generally, so, 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 so this, um, this, um, I would argue that I would argue that uh, uh, the concepts uh, 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 is not as not as defining new uh, new data types. Uh, uh, so, so, uh, so, uh, so uh, generally, uh, generally, you keep those you keep relations, relations to the core set, the core set. So, that so that when you're in theory, you have you know what to ask. What to ask. Mm -hmm. You can build the you can build the the magic of the magic of the relation and and the idea that you come and go to the top side of the world, which means that you have another source concept, and then from those you are going to use yourself, not some other concepts. So, so the knowledge price by itself might be limited, but the relation needs not limited. Yeah, but it's limited. I mean, you can make a number of relations to do that. Yeah, but they might say that the ontology starts with a certain number of concepts and relations. Exactly. It's extensive. Yeah. So that's the limited part is what's going on, I think, all of us also. Okay. Paula, Paula? Okay, so it's clear to me that the different people of the concept If it's conveys information, useful information, this is our I don't know. Uh, can, can I ask a really nice, well, I missed the very beginning of this talk, but who cares? Um, <laughs> um, so what we really want to do is solve the problem of your position. And so if, you're, if the information is organized in a way the computer can, can solve that problem, yeah. so who cares if can, can I ask this? Knowledge? Well, okay, but here's the, here's the thing, and this is one reason why I started looking at it in the first place. We have definitions for directed graphs, for un undirected graphs. In labeled graphs, we have a definitely, we still have a definition for neural network. We still have a definition for what, what, uh, uh, what a function is. We should, we should, you know, we should, we should, we should, we should have, have that on the could, could, could I try to answer this question? Well, it's a buzzword right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but Mark, what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to within our space decrypt it. Okay. Because it's precisely yes. No, no, no. no. Um, so, 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 it's, so, first of all, it's a very valid question. Okay. Um, um, but, but it is, we, it is a term um, that there's a span of usage. Uh, from, uh, from the uh, just, just advertising, advertising from Google, Google saying, saying this is a knowledge graph and that, you know, that is the weight of Google. 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 But then there are researchers in our space, um, some of them which we collaborate with, who have um, uh, different usage of that. And it creates noise, it creates noise in our, in our discourse. When we, we claim the tools that we're building on the knowledge graph, what does that mean when we, uh, when we try? Right. And so, 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 
Right. So we're, we're trying, trying to put a stake in the ground. This is what we think it is. is. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna to we're gonna talk, talk to that. that. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, okay. So that's the conversation. Don't scratch that structure. Foundation. Because we did we have to have time to It's become a kind of uh, it, 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 Just saying, saying oh, it's, it's like or, 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 is it because, because, because he talked about the water So all the money we get get fine your science sense. sense. So we work with other scientists and speaking the same. So just like when you say I have an ecology, but the mean the mean I've got a list of terms. Well, well I, 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 this is one reason. Yes. So we started this paper partially in response to that ecology that uh, I'm going to use the things um, that um, came that out came of a discussion, discussion at a conference where there was a topic of all of us ecology experts on the panel got up. Yeah, together, but I think we were. Where are we going to agree? <laughs> and then we argue for a lot of time. Right. Um, and um, you know, you know, like, you know, let's look at what people are referring to the ontologists. And let's say maybe that we don't agree that people are casual and ontologists, but some people call it that. So we'll put on We started with the same kind of the same session on the track. Okay. I, mean, I, I think the stretches the things that are killed no more than Killed enough? Yeah, because <laughs> what is not in that spectrum that is an all That's my big question. Well, so I get beaten up for that spectrum also because there's only one dimension expresses. And then other people have made multi dimensional pictures of it. And so I have a positive solution of what different things are on the board. And I, I thought I agree with Mark. This is a buzzword. I do not know any difference of why I need to know more. Right? Well, I need to say to IBM why they're giving us $10 million to do a knowledge graph based solution, probabilistic knowledge graph based solution. Okay, it's a problem. Like that, that solution. I could have, but that's not what I pitched. <laughs> no, that, 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 I think Mark got the point here. No, but I, but I, I, I converted those. So you converted them? I'll just go <laughs> it's, it's still. I think it's this is so a scandalous discussion because yeah. this is a view of a pragmatist and a view of a theoristic, theoristic view. Yeah, let's 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 graph, for example, the graph theory. If I, I apply all the well-established techniques in the graph theory to something that's not a graph, it will it won't work. So I have to pay attention on that if I am in academia and trying to make theoretical work. But if I'm doing, if I just it's, it's I'm satisfied with working this, it's fine. Fine. A working this I'm considering this attributes. As being, if, if the thing uh, satisfies these attributes, I can work with it, work with that as a knowledge graph. But I mean, uh, this is the description here. So it's an endless description. And it's a word view if you are an academic person doing research in a theoretical field. I think you have to agree that you don't, it's good to have a good uh, formal definition, but at least the most, most formal. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. make knowledge graphs yeah. great again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, um, so um, we'll actually go to knowledge graph categorization. Yeah, so, yeah. so we started our, started our work, work with uh, what Deborah said, said in mind. In mind. Oh, oh, let's go to the literature and, and for the definition, definition of knowledge graph, what the claims people uh, uh, about do about knowledge graphs. We will pick knowledge and just kind of desiccated. But, but it is impossible, because people, people do not define what they are talking about. So the only thing we could come out with was uh, try, try to establish families or categories of knowledge graphs. graphs. So, so if we up to now saw in the previous slides that there are lots of different knowledge graphs, but which, which, how, how could we organize, organize them in kind of families? And then put their properties on that family as a kind of 
not as uh, zero or one, but as a weak requirement, strong requirement, and neutral. So this is uh, this just a way to initiate our understanding or go going deeply in understanding what the neural network is supposed to be. Right. So it is what we could do. One thing to back up. So you had in the strong one, you have it here too. So I'm just gonna. When you you say hierarchical structure, and then you say fully connected, those are completely different things. And I I I'm not sure either. I I'd like you to explain. What, good point. I think we are not happy with using this word because it's not uh, the, the same sense that this strong no. Right. But is this strong requirement for families, or families of? Them? Actually, the other ones are also. So, 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 so if you that's that point is a huge. Make sure I, 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 sure I, I, I understand it. Understand that. What you've got on what the left, got on the left, the rows are the families, rows of, families of knowledge, of knowledge exactly. types exactly. of knowledge. Types of knowledge exactly. Okay. exactly. So what you're saying, so what you're saying is, is for um, um, one of those like families. One of those families. It needs to exhibit. It needs to exhibit. It needs to exhibit. It needs to exhibit. Exactly. Yeah. This is perfect. What we try to convey. Yeah. How we define large domain? What is schema size? Yeah. We can't. Define yeah. We can't define large. What's large? Like the graph has to be large. Schema size. Schema size. Schema size. The schema size. So it's more in the sense. More in the sense of the schema size. Actually. Actually. You can see. No, but we found it in No, but we found it in a literature that people did make it a kind of important feature of knowledge graphs. So how would you say what is schema size? Right. How did you decide what makes something large? Does does that include like does that include like aggregated sort aggregated from, from different, different sources? sources? So if you've got a, so a graph, got a graph that's 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 informed by many different authoritative, like multiple different chemistry uh, ontologies, that's would that be a large schema size because it's coming from? Is that yeah, what you not need? Not necessarily. You can have a large narrow schema. Yeah, like pumpkin. Is, not uh, Kenny is, is, huge. is in this sense that is large in the horizontal terms. I mean, it, it operates uh, lots of concepts. So domains. Coverage. Coverage. So, so would you consider both. 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 Yeah. 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 Or not. No, actually, we find in the literature some people saying that one aspect that differentiates the node graph from the apology is that the A box of the node graph has lots of content. Lots, lots and, and lots of content. That's not true for ontology. That's, that's what we in want. General. In general, in general. general. I mean, that discussion went on two years ago. Whether you have young dogs, whether you have a whole new team box, or two dogs, but especially the A box. Yeah, so first, Tweb, once it's mentioned A box. I'm not. And why new something that has already exists in the hierarchy of the size? Neutral for what? For one, two, three, four, 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 and then you then you call it neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So something yeah. 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 you can, can express it without necessarily isn't a definition in a lot of definitions are in the S schema function. Right, so that's why we're going to rather than strong for that. But even if you're getting neutral, it is. It is neutral? Because here, I mean, meaning has a structure, right? We are talking about that, right? This is the first column here, right? 
Yeah, we should come back back to this. Let's we want the stuff to help the fan. So, yeah. right, so, so the proposed definition is pretty much based on the requirements we uh, set earlier. Um, so we could use pretty much the graph um, that arguably based information. Uh, general, uh, general KG extends things that is graphing things. Um, um, and the, and the edges, edges have to be directed, directed and, and unambiguously global. And, and also, also bound to the property must, must come from some pattern. And then, and then, and then a strong contract um, extends, extends, extends this point further. Um, um, yeah, we can address this hierarchical, fully connected issue further when we discuss this. But we want a strong hierarchical contract to be semantic, semantically consistent. No, we don't. <laughs> I agree. I agree. This is a point. Yeah. He said. He yeah. Said, he did say you. you. <laughs> I'm not sure. In, in the sense that Google knowledge graph will never be coherent as, as in a theoretical way, right? Or in any practical. Yeah. Or in any practical way. I agree with that. I agree too. I agree too. Okay. okay. That right. So that might be an additional Um. um <laughs> Um, well, well, again, we're again requiring, requiring um, unambiguous, unambiguous labels using something like, something URIs, like URIs, and, and um, we mentioned, we mentioned a fixed stuff from our discussion. From our discussion. Yes. But we but are we also, are also requiring, requiring that a strong knowledge graph include, include provenance, provenance as to how that information is generated, generated, as well as some support, some support for reasoning. So, you, and then you would say, you would say, so 90. 90 to, to, to about a uh, factor of about ninety five percent is described in Wikipedia. Okay, because you know, as, as, as I go through that, I'm taking off DVP to except for provenance, which I'm, I'm, that's the five percent off just because I don't know the answer to the question. Okay, then, I'm, I'm, okay. Then, I'm, then, okay, but everything else is DVP except one would the way they define it. It's self consistent. Okay. okay, so they're so not they're using Kevin. In their, in their, they're not, they're not explicitly, explicitly when, you, when, you, when, you, when you pull up a chemical, chemical, you're seeing CBPedia um, ontology, ontology represent CBPedia classes, classes where one, one might, might expect, expect that, that something, something bigger, bigger than strong KG, KG, they would have authoritative more ontologies more linked in. So how, how do you, you know, how do you rationalize that? Oh, is there something that's a super strong KG? Well, I'm just kind of positioning. Well, in this, yeah. I think we took a rework that's semantically consistent. It's from the back. Yeah. Do we have think that the leak activity could be gentle, strong, and super strong? Do we have the leak yeah. activity? Yeah. Is there a need for a big leak aging? Because the definition is any graph that conveys information. Is that a graph that doesn't? I, I, I think that at the very least, the graph should have been. We debate that a lot. So, I see a super strong. I say, I'll say, wicked But but so I think there's just kind of and then there's four more nodes. It's still convincing with some information, but you get the information by definition. And, 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 so Mark, 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 the point we need to is it feels like, it feels we, like have, we have to raise the question. Yeah. Um, which I question first. Yeah. 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 That, that. And, and so, you know, all the kids want to pretend that they have no other graphs, let them pretend. 
Um, uh, we know that there's no that they have to cross a certain threshold before we call it home. Regarding the audience, can I say something regarding the NLP as well as graphs? I think it may be a confusion here. Because there are, there are lots of people in the NLP trying, trying to compete with knowledge graphs. Extract, extract things from uh, uh, text to try to figure out which are the relationship between this person and that concept. But they are maybe not claiming that they are building a knowledge graph for themselves. It's not uh, uh, NLP. Um, um, when so when we, we find papers, papers that, that are from, are from the domain of, of NLP talking about as work, as work and mitigation, Knowledge graphs. knowledge graphs, but what they claim, claim this is something that we something have, that we to, have answer. to answer. I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I don't, not I'm not sure. I, don't, I, don't, I think they don't claim, claim. They claim. They they are, that they are they doing things to complete, complete or to, or to generate, generate or, or to uh, enrich it. So enrich it. Enrich it. Enrich it. Enrich it. It's going to be very contextually specific, and so NLP. They're definitely graphing, graphing knowledge at some in some level. That's the goal. Whether it's a knowledge graph in the sense that a computer scientist can do something useful with, in terms of building a system on top of it, answering your first question, that's a different question. And so I think we so it's not just defining; it's defining the content. And that, that's what switched me earlier, Paco, is that. Um, we're trying to define here in the context that it's useful so we can communicate with fellow system developers, fellow developers, fellow developers scientists, scientists, so they you know, we can work together together to build a proper system. Um, um, and LPP LP people, people might be, might be, I don't know much about it, much about it but, you know, they might be, might be communicating in a different way about you know, we capture the knowledge in a way that we feel we have understood, understood the system, whatever, whatever. So it's pretty close. It's, yeah. um, the only, only worry about extracting it, putting it in that position, and recall it. That's where this stop. Right. Well, so that's fine. That's what they're interested in. Mm -hmm. So you just need to be. So the definition also requires fine. So then we don't have to worry about what Google's calling it. And you know, this is <coughs> knowledge that we have. Our, our, does that make sense? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's what we're trying to do. But I think at the very beginning, have to say the well, yeah. but he did. He did. He did. At, at the very beginning of uh, the presentation, saying the first slide that we are coming up, trying to come up with a definition for our working purpose inside our or such. I'm the first person who kind of kind of love and hate tiger. I love them when they are well defined and they have a meaning. I hate them when people just grab them and put it and you do not understand what to add to. And that's what I see all the time. Right? So if you just do that, you're hiding whatever knowledge you have for when you put the background together. No, having said that, we are trying to define a term that calls on graph. Right? Graph is one of the things that is more well defined in math. What? What? Just look at the graph, 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 you graph, 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 you graph, 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 graph,
And then, then probably, probably you can have done all that, all that You go, you go, and then, 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 And then you can and say, you can say, this is this is I think that, I think that it's a lot of, it's work. A lot of work. Yeah. But nobody, but nobody's doing it. So I, 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 I agree that um, uh, we should be uh, attempting to do all the epistemology. Um, but I also, I also I disagree I, that it should be done to be done. Yeah. So, so because, 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 because uh, not all, not all knowledge, knowledge and the logic specific, specific and I think that there's something that you can call a knowledge graph or a representation of knowledge that does not does not does not does not rely on logic. So if I could if I could interject something because I want to make sure these guys get everything. I just gonna make me uh, two bookmarks. First bookmark, I don't want us to lose what Mark was suggesting that it's more um, define what it needs to do. You know what is sort of center? Yeah, you you said no, context, but nothing. No one requires context. Right. So 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 define that context. I I interpreted what you were saying as there's we obviously, obviously have some some some, some tasks or some set of applications or something that okay, some context in which we refer to this. Okay, we talk about the papers that we're writing, referring to knowledge graphs that we're working on. Um, um, I think, I think that, that what Paulo is suggesting is kind of a hypothesis in the sense of what if we what try to construct the definition of knowledge graph from a whole cloth, primitive, from from from, from and what would what would, what would that, that what would that look like from a theoretical standpoint, which is a which is an interesting you know thing to consider, and it it it, it might be, might a, be a, like a, a, some kind of bounding case, case for what a, a knowledge graph could be. So I don't think we should lose. I don't think we should yeah, dismiss it. You know, like, it's, it's a hard idea, 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 idea to think yeah. about. Yeah. But I don't, I don't want to dismiss it. It's one percent. So knowledge so is, framework is something that a large large came up with. I was one of the people that. Think. Right. I agree. Not everything is completely clear. However, it could be one more perspective of actually not. That a large community value. And then there are things that won't fit in the way. First principles, we mean start off by defining the knowledge. In the 60s, you have kids here. Get here, like, like, get something. No, no, my 60. 60. 60. Yeah, but but they but it's not like true to link their kids, but it's but it's true to link their knowledge and knowledge and something else. So the knowledge of what true belief is, you know, like justifying true belief is another thing. Modern world of science. So so it is. All right, so um, just wrapping up here. Um, some. <laughs> Contributions. Well, you just skipped over a cartoon. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a cartoon. You're completely free to carry out whatever research you want. So long, so long, as, long you as you come to these conclusions. <laughs> it's a conclusions cartoon. Okay. It's just an NIH grant on it. <laughs> um, um, so we'll conclude with some contributions that this work um, potentially can make. Um, So we, so we performed an in-depth analysis of existing literature of knowledge graphs. So there's more literature we can look at to look into more um, um, We collected uh, key knowledge graph characteristics. Um, we classified characteristics in terms of requirements um, and used them to build a conceptual grid of five knowledge graph families that um, we noticed were mentioned in the literature. 
And finally, using these different levels of expressivity, um, expressivity, expressivity um, we presented a proposed definition for uh, no, be careful that expressivity is used as schema yeah. and so on. <laughs> so it's not so it's weak, strong, and super strong, or whatever you are. Yeah, I, mean, I think we should care for it. Each, each. <laughs> yeah. So we should park it on one slide to continue arguing. Which which one do you want? Back the previous one. Where you want you want the rules and no no no. <laughs> uh, you, uh, that one. No, no. definition. The so definition no, 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 no. that one. Well, maybe we start though. We, we start, uh, the part strong knowledge gap. Does it make sense to have this sort of hierarchy or I, I don't think so. I think we can get whatever we want. To be honest. Uh, if we want to say that there's a, a special kind of knowledge graph that has extra something to it, a, a good knowledge graph, we can. We can I, I, didn't, for, I, I didn't want to talk about. Right? I didn't want to talk about what makes a knowledge graph a good knowledge graph, uh, because good is relative to doing different things. I just I, I want I want to have that different that I can like, look at. Look at the I don't want to want to. Yeah, but this 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 is the reason the last one you said earlier, like the non non critical the people are like the phrase when you want to come together with a definition that many people will agree with and that will include certain things. So it's right. in that the sense that you're trying to create no, an interoperability. No, I'm waiting for a different way. You want a definition for purposes. Right. I am, and I'm, and I'm, the I'm, purpose I'm, is to be able to build this and to answer this sort of question that Marcelo is is hypothetical You know, you want to build some set that a certain amount of I don't know, reasoning is the right word, but you know, can enable those sorts of queries. And so therefore you need to have a robust enough knowledge graph where the nodes and the edges are defined well enough that you can actually do that. And you can't do that without a good knowledge graph. Maybe you can start to answer some of the Basic things in the general knowledge, but what we really want to definitely say is if I have this, I know I can start working with you. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm a little also lost in my head. And it's not like we're saying that all you people are, oh, you don't have knowledge. We're just saying this is what is not an autograph for us, because this is what we need to be able to do. And we think we should. So, so you know, all you people, you people that are all that are awesome, so much more for playing. If you know, you're a natural processor that is trying to represent a a, a, a text, you can call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There are computer science today. Yeah. 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 We'll just say a knowledge graph that is not being on time. And what is it? It's just a representation. The the notion of the problem. the most the most the most It's in the eye of the whole. Just some what are you going to do with it? Is what really matters. Not, you know, so definitely. Yeah, fitness. It's 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 like data quality versus data fitness. Fitness is the eye of the whole. So I mean I mean I I would start start by saying that. Uh, uh, basic, basic. I think I think that strong has some stuff that is uh, not, not necessary. necessary. I think it might be my same thing or two to do. Um, uh, but but it's also comes in what we have up there. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't. So we. So we the energy. I understand we the design to be inclusive with panel systems. But the thing is that I don't. I don't think it's a whole point of view. The output of the system is that you that you that. Provide a semantic touch to that. Don't, 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 don
And so why why can't we have? Um, well, I think Jim, you were getting at this a little bit earlier. Why can't why can't we define it in a sense of just like a knowledge graph core? Think of that as like gray, you know, a gray blob, and then think there's like a, a purple and a blue, and a green, and this and a this. And each one of those are certain characteristics of functionality. I'm trying to get you it. Don't, what, what, what's I'm trying that? To get it. Get it. Well, but well, I, what, I, what, I, what I'm saying though is that maybe maybe this is just this is just like strong, strong. Right? And then and this then is, is maybe, maybe NLP, NLP is, is its role, its role is, to is to augment. Okay, so it's doing some graphy kinds of things down here, but it's it's really meant to augment it, well, to to so work within, with. Well, so it's okay for someone in NLP that's within what I what I want to get at. It's okay for someone in NLP to say we're working on tools that enhance knowledge graphs. They may not be providing the semantic context, but they're working on tools. I mean, I've got that's in the tutorial, okay. I've got two NLP tools in there already. And there's going to be a lot more. So there's analogous. So so there's an so mentioning that that one paper, um, you know, they, there's they they talk. There's several, several different, different dynamic things, things that they mention. You know, one, one is, is the, the reasoning reason. thing. You know, they kind of use it as if it doesn't have a reason you're stuck on the end, which is building knowledge on a knowledge graph. One could argue that actually that sort of augmentation is one of the functionalities that you could associate with a core. It was also discussed at some point. There's no. How do, we how do we build? How do we augment? How do we, you know, how do we, you know, how do we, that's, those, those, are, those are not, yeah. I'd say that that paper, What's the Knowledge Graph, is an inspiration for us to publish something. What is not a knowledge graph? Oh, this is getting to Mark's point earlier. <laughs> sure. For us. But we're in America. Web lab. No, but you're not taking this. No, no, no. This is this is how we're. Ideally, we can do it as close to a. Mathematical. Well, I mean, this isn't the whole body of the paper. That means that this is just what we did over the last week. And general principles. So, so there's there's two things. So one is I'm, I want to make sure everybody gets heard because there's about five or six voices that can be given a lot. And if other people have some thoughts, I'm certainly welcome to those thoughts. You were one of those. What I would, I would like to understand I mean, from this presentation is one, it is okay to, it is okay to the idea for the idea for generalization. State that we just state that we need what we have has a lot of has a lot of energy tools, energy tools in that and they have them and they have this. So Making, so, making yeah, them say that okay, if you want to, if you want to something a knowledge, want something a knowledge, so on the so basis of that, the basis of that, we like want to ask, we want to ask, how much of this, how much of this definition is not already, how much of this, how much of this is related to this, related to the representation, how much of this, how much of this is. A lot of people say a lot of people say it's very expressive, right? RDFS is RDFS is expressive because you RDF by RDF just an RDF just an RDF graph is supposed to be a very general a very general or a lot of people a lot of people even if that's a weak graph. So so my so my I know that you know that you know that you see that these definitions, these definitions by itself, by itself are, are not actually at least tell, at least tell me something new that new that is not already been there. there. And if it's there, you might want to. And I, I believe, I, I believe that you're going to you actually differentiate and say, well, all these theories are different theories, but it's not it's not not theories, but this is what this is what is lacking. Following Mark, yeah, yeah. Definition that 
not not as young as the league. Correct, correct, but it's uh, both, both fully. Um, because, uh, yeah, because, yeah, uh, pragmatists, pragmatists define, define things by their own goals. Yeah, definition. So, no, we could try to, 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 to answer this. We, 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 so I don't think it can be 100% based on where... Sure, sure. Sure, sure. So, so I, I, I tend to say that knowledge graphs has a purpose. Has a purpose. And, the purpose and the purpose is, is not something, something that purpose is specific to knowledge graph. Uh, uh, you can't, you can't do, that do that with taxonomy. You, you can't do that with pathologies. The help, the help someone that is trying to accomplish, accomplish the task is a and and thinking like, like, like that, that I, would I would say that, that it's not it's not, it does not hurt me to call RDF RDF without the form of semantics even by by Patrick Lies, I kind of know the definition of but but I don't have analogous to RDF. For the one who pulled all of the helping people to accomplish their tasks. Because, because you know, just, 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 just finishing here. Um, if you go, go back to the notion of the ancient agents on the web, when all, all the analysis, uh, people had that green, that's all in the future, how they ask the intelligent agents that will help us. We, we are, are far from, from that yet, yeah. but, but we, we are approaching this, this. and the knowledge graph for me is the most uh, interesting proposal to go in, in that direction, direction. but not, the uh, uh, knowledge graph, graph is not automatic, automatic help, help, help you, they are, they are just organizing, organizing information from many sources, sources that will fit your necessities, and so, and so to build a knowledge graph, graph, I have to interview you, I have to make Kind of, it's kind of uh, user, uh, study. user studies. Deeply user studies. So what would people do when they book an a, a, a hotel? What people, what people do when they do when they travel? They travel? What, 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 physicians, does? what physicians does? This kind and of thing. This kind of so thing. A proposal so, thing. A thing. And a proposal thing. And a proposal thing. And a proposal based on a based on a on RGF RGF without the most mathematical RGF. I would back it up. I would back it up. I wouldn't make it use case. Use cases are great for building, they're great for building, even then they still have, even then they still have, but they're not great for they're not great for building vision, conceptual knowledge, definition. So, so I say, I say, for purpose, I need a purpose, I a use case. So I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure. But, but I kind of, kind of, but this is really broad, I mean, helping, helping, helping people, people to do such accomplish thing in any domain. domain. Really broad. If you are a scientist trying to come up with your theory, you could have a help for a knowledge graph. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, you don't need to sell knowledge. Yeah. So can I do just a point of order? Why don't we, why don't we thank these guys yes. and let anybody who wants to split, split, and anybody wants to keep talking, talk, right? So let's thank you. <laughs> and,